Welcome back, all you Fabricant and Flashbacks, to the super, not funny show, Reviews. And today we are reviewing Abbott Elementary Season 2, Episode 2, uh, and it's entitled Wrong Delivery, coming to you from ABC and Hulu. So, what's good? What's it bad? And should you be watching? On this episode of Abbott Elementary, a delivery of new textbooks, new, new word textbooks, arrives at Abbott, uh, only for them to realize that they are not, in fact, for Abbott Elementary. You know, why would a public school get anything new, right? Uh, but instead for the charter school down the street. And so this give, gives them an occasion, uh, the main characters, to walk down there and see what's up with this charter school, uh, which must must be an interesting look into the way teachers look about, you know, think about their job and, and their resources and whatnot, because uh, it seems like charter schools and, you know, all the ways to funnel you know, public money away from public schools uh, seems to be ha- holding sway. So they get down there, and it's like they're in Eden or something in heaven. There's a, it seems like a a place where they'd rather be teaching rather than at Abbott, where they're having all sorts of problems. But of course, Janine, she loves Abbott, so she can't take this lying down. She decides that they still have money, uh, grant money from uh, the previous year, and they're going to use it uh, for something good like she wants them to be a, a what is it a computer lab and this sort of sets off this, this fun situation where uh, Ava turns it into of course about herself but also she wants to be like she's in Shark Tank so she makes uh, people present their ideas for what to do with the rest of the grant money like it was on Shark Tank uh, it turns into a very funny little bit where you know you have we have the janitor and Ava and then one of the students just sort of being the sharks and everyone's presenting their silly idea. You know, like one guy wants a, the money for water ice, uh, water ice truck, and the uh, the uh, one of the the lunch ladies wants you know better equipment and what all this stuff. And of course, Janine, because she does the most at all times, she does uh, this big old presentation and everything. Uh, the B story here uh, is also that uh, Gregory is trying to figure out how to break up uh, with Barbara's uh, daughter. And it's also made everything real awkward between him and Barbara and everything. And so you get <laughs> you get kind of like this, you know, Jacob and, and other people sort of giving, uh, giving advice about how he should like slowly break up with her, you know, just kind of, they said, call it petering out or whatever. And, uh, and how that, that sort of makes them all, you know, Makes it all awkward between him and Barbara. Fun stuff there. Uh, just because I think uh, Tyler uh, James, he's just he's so good at being that awkward, and he has these great express, you know, facial expressions and everything. And of course, there is sort of the uh, you know we see a little bit uh, on both stories. You know, we see how Barbara is in one story and the other, but also we see Lisa, uh, not Lisa, um, uh, Melissa, and her little. Uh, you know, she, she has a, a clone over at the, at the charter school, it seems like, and they seem to just don't like each other and everything. Um, and we see also there's a rat or a mice infestation, everything going on, uh, at the, uh, at the school. So just Abbott seems just like it's in all sorts of a weird way as far as, you know, what's, it, you know, everything just broke down and the charter school is so much better, but what they don't have is this great uh, set of teachers who are hilarious together but also really uh, care about the students and everything and what they're doing. And Janine's sort of like the, you know, she's the poster child for that. But also, you know, all the other all the other ones, uh, you know, Gregory and Melissa and, and Barbara and Jacob, you know, they're, they're all in, of the same mind. They just have kind of a different idea about, you know, how to go about it and how to have pride in their school. But at the end of the day, of course, they end up having to, uh, you know, they have this mice infestation. They can't have the computer lab or anything like that, or just a computer, you know, for the, for that. But they also, you know, have some extra money together. So Ava's like, oh, we're going to just get water ice for the kids. And, you know, it's the start of school year. So, of course, water ice would still be welcome. And it's interesting that 
the kid from the, uh, you know, one of the kids from the charter school is just like, man, y'all get water ice. And they're just like, y'all just got a dumb computer lab. And yes, that's, it's, yeah, backwards or whatever. The kids, it would be better if they had a computer lab. But the kids have pride in Abbott Elementary and they like going there. And yeah, do they have a principal that's extra? Yeah. Do they have, you know, kind of a, a dorky, a dorkable uh, Janine, sure, and, and you know, Gregory's kind of uptight about some things, and Jacob tries too hard. But what? you know what? They're got, those kids are going to do all right because the teachers at Abbott are great. Uh, I love this episode. Everything was funny. You know, the whole, eventually we're going to see Janine and Gregory kind of get together. I know, I know they're working toward it, and it's, it's cute. Uh, I, I just continue to love, oh, yeah, the whole bit with Barbara getting the names of of black actors wrong and mixing them up with white actors, hilarious. I love that that's a thing that they, they went with. Uh, I could watch that all day. Um, and, you know, uh, Melissa and her sister, that was fun. It's just all around good episode. Loving this season so far. Abbott continues its, uh, you know, it, it is just a high quality, hilarious show. Love these characters, uh, and I can't wait to see more. So anyway, what did you guys think about this episode? What did you think about what I had to say? Get down to the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. And, of course, you can always hit me up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or at supernotfunnys1 on Twitter, and uh, we can chop it up about this great show. And uh, do me a favor, get down there, hit that like button on this, and also hit the subscribe and the notification bell, uh, all that good stuff. All right, all you fabric in the flesh bags, thanks for joining me on this review. Come back next week uh, where we'll be reviewing the third episode of Abbott. Until then, I've been Mode Pupay, your resident fabric and comic extraordinaire on all things pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace.